Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2 before going ahead with part 3. This was all about what is pressure, what is pressure in case of fluids, what is the unit of pressure and what are the very basic characteristics of pressure. Now let us look at a problem related to pressure. The problem says the two thigh bones, femurs, each of cross sectional area 10 cm square support the upper part of a human body of mass 40 kg. Estimate the average pressure sustained by the femurs. That means let us roughly draw a human body. Somewhat like this, it says that the two thigh bones, let us suppose the two thigh bones start somewhere from here. Okay, so these two bones, each of cross sectional area 10 cm square, support the upper part of the body. That means this upper part of the body, weight of this upper part is 40 kgs. The question asks, what is the average pressure sustained by the femurs? So here we can see that mass is given as 40 kgs. Now area, each area is given as 10 cm square. 10 cm square is the area for each thigh bone. Therefore, for two femurs, femur is nothing but a name for the thigh bone. So for two femurs, the area would be equal to 2 into 10 centimeters square that is equal to 2 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square we have converted centimeter square to meter square so this will be equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square so this is the cross-sectional area. Now we have to calculate the average pressure. Now in order to calculate pressure we need two things. One is force and the other is area. So area we already know. Now let us calculate force. What would be the force? Force would be nothing but the weight due to the body. That means force will be nothing but mg because that is the force which will be acting vertically downwards towards the surface of the earth. So force will be equal to m into g. So what is m? m is 40 and g is let us say 9.8 meter per second or let us consider this, it as 10 meter per second. So it is 400 newton. So this is the force. Therefore pressure we have to calculate the average pressure. So the pressure P is nothing but force per unit area. So force is 400 and area is 20 into 10 to the power minus 4. So this comes out to be 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. So this would be the average pressure that can be sustained by the femurs. So in this case what did we do? We did basically we just we have applied the formula. Pressure is force per unit area. So what would be the force in this case? It would be nothing but the weight of the body that is mg which is acting vertically downwards and the area would be the total area of both the thigh bones which was 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.